The Tectona Cremier is made up of two materials, metal and plastic. The upper section here is made up of an aluminium housing and the lower section is made up of ABS plastic. The water tank here behind the machine at the back is made up of clear polycarbonate. Now let's look at the components of the Technona Kremlin. Here we have a porta filter which has got a pressurized porta filter basket made up of stainless steel. Also, you will find one plastic component inside which is the fluid separator. On the side of the machine, you have a removable drawer which contains another porta filter which is good for coffee pods and also you will find a plastic spoon and tamper. The plastic spoon here is good for one portion of coffee and the tamper here is good for tamping the coffee into the porta filter and making it into one decent tight puck. You will also find embedded in the thermocall package of the box a stainless steel pipe which is called the Panarello. Uh, under Panarello you will notice on one end there will be a tiny hole which is, uh, which is used basically for assisting you in milk frothing. This is how it fits in. The Kremlin has got a detachable or removable drip tray. Just simply slide it out and you will be able to then throw away all the water that has collected in the drip tray after you made some coffee or moved from hot water to uh, steam. There will always be some, some amount of water that will drip from the uh, shower head into the drip tray. Now let's look at the functions of the Technola Premier. The first button here is the hot water control button which controls the flow of hot water through the hot water spout here. The second, third, fourth and fifth buttons are the espresso buttons uh, depending upon what exactly you would like to do like making a single shot of espresso or double shot of espresso or an extra long coffee depending on the kind of coffee that you use and the kind of strength that you're looking for. The last button here is the steam button which controls the steam generation and allows the steam to flow through from the steam wand over here. Here you see is a tap. Is a, this, this tap switches between hot water flow and steam flow. This position here is the neutral position and you would ultimately either shift up or down depending on whether you want hot water or steam. The Technola Kremier is a fully automatic espresso machine containing some serious electronics. The electronics are housed here within the aluminium section of the machine and basically control all the functions of the machine. The Technola Kremier is a single thermoblock machine. The thermoblock switches between two temperatures, 80 degrees for brewing coffee and 90 degrees for generating steam depending on whether you want to make a shot of espresso or you want to generate steam for frothing milk. The water filter has got three guides here, very similar to the kind of guides you have in your pressure cooker. Now in a pressure cooker you are used to fitting in those guides into the ledges and then twisting the head into shape. In our machine all you have to do is after you filled in your coffee, find the ledges, find those gaps and simply slide it into the shower head. Once you fill the water tank with water, turn the machine on here for this with the switch behind and you will find that these four buttons are blinking. These blinking buttons show that the boiler or the, or the water in the boiler is heating up to the desired temperature of 80 degrees. Once these 
four uh, blinking lights have become steady, it means that the boiler has achieved its temperature of 80 degrees. To release some hot water, all you need to do is press the hot water button and you will notice that the hot water button is lit up and the others have shut off. From the tap here, just push the tap down and you will notice that the hot water has begun to flow. To stop, bring the lever back to the neutral position and press this button again. This will bring you back into the standby position. Remember, every function must begin in the standby position. After you've finished, it must come back to the standby position for, for you to be able to do the next function. Now let's see how we can generate some steam in the Tektora Premier. In the standby position, the temperature of the water in the boiler is 80 degrees. To generate steam, we need to raise the temperature from 80 to 90. All we have to do is press the steam function and the boiler will start raising the temperature of the water from 80 to 90. You will see it blinking which means that the heater is functioning and the water is rising slowly. Once this blinking has stopped, it means it has arrived at the desired temperature of 90 and we are able to now generate some steam. Right, so all we, have, all we need to do is shift the tap upwards and then you will see the steam being generated. After you are done with the steam generation, Bring the lever back to the neutral position and the steam will stop. Release the button to come back to the neutral position or to the standby position. Now you will see the two buttons here blinking which means that the temperature of the boiler is going to drop. All the four lights are steady which means it's back in the standby position. If you want to, if you want to speed up this process of bringing the temperature of the boiler down quickly, all you need to do is press the hot water button, release some hot water so that fresh water comes into the boiler and you will have the temperature dropped.